Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Thank you for joining us. Um, today I am doing a 12 by 12 uh, with my base coat, my drizzle base, and then a bloom. So my base that I have down is phalo blue mixed with manganese blue, and that is by Golden Fluid Acrylics, the manganese. The phalo blue is Amsterdam paint. And then I'm going to do my drizzle, which is my dioxazine purple, which is golden fluid acrylics. This is brilliant green by Amsterdam. And this is the uh, pyrrole orange. And that is the golden flu fluid acrylic as well. All it is is mixed with my house paint. My house paint is color place by Walmart. It's ready to use white parentheses satin interior. So let me get this straight. You've got this main base color and then you've got three other base colors. Right. Okay, those are the base colors you're going to drizzle on. Okay. So now my bloom is going to be Mediterranean blue pigment, iridescent green yellow by PBO, Bordeaux red, one of my all-time favorites by Arteza, mango mamba pigment, this is the orange red and the pearl papaya by Arteza. Jasmine pigment. This is the French lilac pigment. Mystic blue pigment. And I'm throwing in a little bit of the Harvest Soul pigment. And they are all color art primary elements. They are all mixed the same. And you can uh, go and look at video 248 for my recipe. I'll have a direct link in the description box for that video. So I feel, you know, is talking, I'm going to drizzle. I'm starting out with my purple. I'm going to my brilliant green, and then I'm going to my orange. And what? this is just to give a little contrast with all the colors, because I'm, I feel like I'm in Candyland today. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful uh, color combination. So we're just going to have a little fun here. Well, this is like another little twist to um, your your bloom pours. Is not only to have a colored base, but a drizzle base. Correct. Okay. So. And these are all these are all the house paints. Right. So they're not the Amsterdam or the Liquitex or any of those. The Artist Loft. These are only mixed in my house paint. And this is the orange. And it looks like a mishmash, just like in my drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin. Only difference is, I'm not swiping. I might swipe a little something else, but I don't know what it's going to be. Now, I'm going to go and do my bloom. And my color, see I have a lot of colors here. I'm gonna to have to make it a little bigger because I need to hit the ends of this. So, this is my Mediterranean blue. Oh, okay, we're definitely gonna hit the ends of that, aren't we? Now all these uh, pigments and paints that Kathy has ready for her bloom, she has a special recipe for blooms and drizzles uh, that you, you can find and I think it's what video? Two, 248. 248. And I'll have a direct link to that video. It's a very simple recipe. Seems to work very nicely for drizzles and blooms. So check that out. Yeah. Um, I hope everybody's safe with, you know, the hurricanes going on and everything. We had here in Arizona, we had a really, really bad storm. But it's, it's beautiful outside right now. It's pretty humid, though. Pretty humid. For Arizona, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> pretty humid. And it's it's really weird because uh, we're from Illinois, so when we moved here, you know, you know, in Illinois, the humidity you get, the storms you get and everything, well, our dog was so used to storms that nothing, you know, faced her. Well, here, we hardly ever get storms. She was a wreck today. She was shaking like a leaf. I felt so bad for her. Okay, my next one is Bordeaux Red. But when you, um, after you're here for a while, with no humidity. It doesn't when, take much to make it feel humid. When 
you, you know, aren't used to humidity and then all of a sudden it's humid, oh my gosh, you can feel it immediately. It's amazing. And, you know, I believe it when they say, um, because the doctor was telling Phil and I that when you move to Arizona, it takes your blood three years to actually thin out, to get, you know, to uh, well, get used to the heat. Technically, your, I read, your blood doesn't really thin out. It's the, actually the, the blood vessels near the surface of your skin um, change a little bit, uh, and that's really what's happening. Well, but anyways, well, I, mine I better start thinning out a little <laughs> bit more because it's pretty hot here for me. Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art Primary Element Pigments and Arteza Products and KS Resin. And there are some nice discounts you can get through the links in our description box. So if you need some uh, supplies, want to save some money, go through those links. This is Jasmine. Jasmine. Last one was Orange Red and Pearl Papaya. Next is going to be our French Lilac Pigment. A lot of times this one disappears if you have a blue background, so we might not see it too much. Right. Mystic Blue Pigment. I love this color. Loving me some Mystic Blue. And last but not least, we are going to put in a little bit of our Harvest Soul. Okay, now I gotta, well this is just kind of different, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, that's quite. Uh, that's quite a blue. Quite a combination of colors there. So I'm interested to see what's going to actually show up when you. This blue create looks the blue. Looks like a state or something. <laughs> Look how it looks. Well, it didn't say very circular, but that's okay. No, it did. It gets blown out anyway, so. Probably knows that. And of course, my go-to, my black cell activator. Everybody, you know me. Black paint and Floetrol. Correct. All right, now we're gonna get our handy dandy little blow dryer and see what happens here. You always want your blow dryer on cool. It's beautiful. It's that's how you're gonna blow it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, that's all I'm gonna do, Phil. You'll let my mouth do the next, the same. Oh, that's a... Beautiful bloom. And even though you didn't put a lot of that last color in that... Uh, the gold? The gold, Harvest Soul? Yeah, it's, it's showing up nicely. And you don't want to blow it through your um, straw real hard. You're really getting a lot of colors around the edge there. Now it seems like I'm blowing through it really hard and I'm not really at all. Ooh, this is pretty, really pretty. Yeah, you're getting a, a lot of nice colors around the uh, rim of the bloom, which really sets the bloom off nicely. So, I think we got a lot of cells that are popped up. I mean, a lot of cells that have popped up. Yes. I might 
see if I can get some right here. stretch out over there okay so what do you think this is going to be phil is it my know. candy land that i'm hoping you know it's all different shades of our dots that we used to eat growing up our candy why are you shaking your head well, i know I you can't get, eat those anymore no i don't get that at all out of that but that's fine well i see my okay. candy all right okay my strawberry twizzlers so anyways everybody we're going to do our abracadabra and show me your magic. Here we go. Oh, okay. Oh man, my poor puppy pool is really now getting bad i gotta get this corner a little bit more this is pretty it's very nice i love this it's really created tons of coloration oh around gosh. the center bloom okay. i don't th think you're going to get that corner with the spinning i might just tip it this is really pretty i keep forgetting that i can tip this easier because it's not way way down on my canvas yet the paint and stuff Slow but sure, Phil. Mm-hmm. Can you see it? Refills. You're probably getting a lot of glare. I was getting a lot of glare, but this is much better. I was going to say you're probably getting pretty glarish. But I, I like this bloom because you're getting tons of other colors all around it, which is which is kind of cool, but. See, the reason I asked you if you were going to blow the bloom anymore is because you weren't getting it. I was afraid it wouldn't get toward that corner. It's going to get to the corner as soon as I bring this back in because I'm going to spin it again. I know you can get it to the corner, but sometimes it wrecks the composition. But I'm depending on you. I know you can do it. Okay, so I need to go... Which way to get that? You're not going to get it, but that's fine. No, you're up. Okay. Well, that's okay. There's still pink coming off, so that's fine. Did I not get it? Almost. Almost got all of it. Got it. Oh, maybe I can bring this back into the middle a little bit. It doesn't hurt. It's right on the corner. Yeah. This is really... I love all these colors. Oh, yeah. It's, it's moving. Back into the middle a little. As you can see, there's Kathy's cake spinner. Works like a charm. She has her sticks attached to it. Oh, this is pretty. <gasps> oh, gosh. Gosh darn it, I love this. I do too. I'll tell this, you, I love this. This is a, a different from um, some of the other ones you've done because this one created a lot of colors around the central bloom, which is really cool. It's very cool because, first of all, you can see the um, colors from uh, my drizzle coming up through as well. That's true. This, this is very, very, I would have never guessed it would have looked like this. I wouldn't have either. It's so much for my candy land, Phil. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Well, it wasn't there in the first place, in my opinion. Well, but I, when I it's see a, things, you, you don't, don't see things. I'm, just, I'm giving you a hard time. I'm giving you a hard time. Well, don't give me a hard time. Okay. Because if you do, you know you're not going to get your chicken piccata for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you ordered. That's true. That is true. Th this Very is nice. pretty. I, I love this. I, I have to say it turned out 
Very nice for you. Can you see it better like this? Yes. This is really pretty. It is very nice. I'm Thank in love you. with this. Okay, so everybody, if you like this, give me a, a thumbs up and uh, share it if you'd like. Um, please subscribe to our channel. We're trying to get 10,000. And if you are a subscriber, we love all of you. Please go to our Etsy shop and shop around. Um, please go to Redbubble, um, shop around there. And it, it's kind of fun because I even come up with things all the time that I like and I see. So I hope everybody stays well, stay healthy, and thanks for stopping by. And until the next time, see you later, alligators. Bye.